Welcome back. In parts one and two, we decided what our hierarchy looked like, what filtering attributes are, what we'd use them for. And we also looked at buckets for when we publish these tasks out, where they're going to fit in people's different planners. Our hierarchy had, just to remind you, health and safety and marketing right at the top. Then under that, we had the area managers teams. And then we had the stores. Now, we then use PowerShell to get our list of teams out. We then use Excel to sort out our CSV file, make it ready. Then we uploaded it and checked it was there. Now let's go and put on our area manager hat or perhaps our store worker hat and go over to the client. So here we are and you will see that I've got the app already. Uh, I create my app setup policy, pushed it out and if you click on all your lists, then you'll see it's got the normal view that a user would see. So they don't see this until we publish our hierarchy, then we get published lists. And then I can choose create a list. And what that will do is that's going to create a new plan. And then when it publishes these out, it's going to send these to a tasks plan inside uh, or a task planner inside each of those stores. If one doesn't exist, it will create it as part of this. Um, so let's give it a name and I'm going to call this store checks. Um, that's going to be published from the north by my store manager. Brilliant. Now, this is where it's just like planner, really. So I'm going to have two tasks. Task one is going to be uh, recording this just before Christmas. So perhaps I'm going to do a stock check. Not a sock check unless we sell socks. That's going to be important, and let's get that due before the uh, January sales commence. And I'm going to put this into shop floor tasks. Um, actually, stock check, it's back office task, I think, and I'll hit yes. All right, and my next task is going to be um, a deep clean uh, of the stores. That is going to be super, super urgent, but I don't want it to start yet, so I want it to start on Christmas Eve <laughs> because that's what we want to make people do in the shops on Christmas Eve clean the place um, but it's a deep clean right it makes sense honest I've worked in a shop uh, <laughs> honestly uh, and the start date for that can be the 24th brilliant okay so needs no description they should know what this is we want them to perhaps um, sanitize san sanitize the whole shop and perhaps vacuum the whole shop that's it that's it you know if we were a marketing team we probably had an attachment perhaps we'd have a, a new sale banner or something like that that was going to go up and we'd have a picture of how it should look when it's all been assembled um, so we could add that we could ask them to send something back to us as well so we can have a look but that will do for us, we're going to publish the tasks out and this will go to our store. So I'm going to press publish and I've got uh, teams from a hierarchy or upload a, a custom list. I could just send this out to the flagship ones. Um, I've only got one because I'm the northern area manager um, or I can pick everything in the north. So there we go. Durham, Edinburgh and Manchester, we're everywhere and press publish. Everything looks good two tasks for three teams go now what i found is this isn't actually quite as slow as you might think it's one of those areas where teams you know what teams is like sometimes it can take a while actually i've seen this in publishing to 58 real stores take about the same amount of time no time at all it's just there uh, 30 seconds or something like that it's actually really effective so if I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to going to live dangerously and I'm going to go over to my mobile phone. Here we go. And let's have a look. Here I am. Let's refresh this. I'm in tasks. Um, it's pinned. And I'm going to click on tasks button there. I've got a deep clean. All right. So I'm the store manager. Who am I going to assign it to? I don't want to do that. Um, if I was Joey, then I would probably assign it to 
Ross. Um, get him doing that on Christmas Eve. And super efficient as a store manager. I really should get a job as a store manager. I've done half of my work already. Um, let's do the stock check. Uh, Phoebe can go out the back. Um, always is scaring the customers anyway. Uh, there we go. All right. Fantastic. Publishing plan. Blah, blah, blah. Phoebe is going to be doing that. Brilliant. We can set the progress. We can see the bucket that it's came through. We can add our own attachments to get to, to take some pictures, upload the stock checklist. Maybe I'll add that as a task for her as a store manager. Uh, just to be nice, make sure that she's sorted. And there it is. Fantastic. So, all right. Now, the hardest part <laughs> is whether this is going to come all the way up to the top. So, this is not, there's no cuts in this. Let's, uh, let's go back over to the client and see. All right. Now, one would imagine that if we go back into this after some time, then it will refresh. Um, because unless I'm absolutely... Um, micromanaging people then I'm not going to look at this straight away I'll be looking at it to see whether it's assigned over the next few days so I'll come back in and I'll see this I'll probably have sent them loads more tasks by this point but because we want to find out what's going on and we know that we've just assigned it then I was Joey then I'm in here as Rachel and if I go back into publish tasks again after choosing to refresh I should see the progress let's have a look at that so 33%, that looks good. The stock check hasn't came through yet. So let's double check. Um, definitely assigned it. Yep, there it is. Phoebe is doing the stock check. Go back to the client. And this is this is how, how quickly it really, really takes. So that's, that's what I'm trying to show you. you know, how instant is it? Um, is the question so I refresh it again and I go back over and of course as I say you're not really going to do this it's not come through yet but we know it's been assigned so I can only assume that it will come through pretty shortly I can click in and click out um, for the sake of of seeing how long these things take I'm going to go in a few times before we then assume that it will take its own sweet time to come through. Now, I can also, while we wait, um, go down into here and I can have a look at this. So if I click on Edit Edinburgh, then I can see the tasks here and I can see one has been assigned, uh, published by April North at that time. Um, there's not a way I can really give it a push Reassign it to Phoebe again, see what happens. But what we know is this is going to come through within a few minutes anyway. So um, when you realistically actually check, this is just another of those sort of Office 365 y type things where sometimes the magic takes a little bit longer. And it's like watching a PC boot in the old days where it just seems to take a lot longer when you're waiting. If you've ever worked in desktop support like me and you're doing something else on your computer, twiddling your thumbs and it always takes twice as long um it doesn't think it's assigned yet but it will it absolutely will um but i'm not really going to concern myself with that because we can see that ones came through and of course if we went and then completed all these tasks um which i can then go and do here um there we go complete um and then go back over to the client let's have a look then i know that, that the task completion reports do take longer to filter up as well so this isn't going to be your insta this isn't going to be something where something triggers something automatically the moment it's done um for example it's not like a motion sensor and you're setting up home assistant if you're setting up flows and stuff like this with power automate that, that plug into it then once one's done the stock check then a flow that's triggered once that's completed to then go and immediately do a bunch of actions you know they've done the stock check they've done the, the deep clean turn off the lights in the store that's not that's not what, what you should do. So let's go back into publish lists and see what it makes of this. 
Right. As I said, it's not brought those through yet, but we can see that some of it's assigned. But this is the main thing about it, right? You know, if we want to be able to go see how this is working, then you need to understand some of its limitations. So uh, my fundamental thing when I'm showing this to anybody is to say, right, the first thing you need to do is show people how it actually works. You need to be able to have a plan for adoption because no one's going to use this effectively if they've just been told, use that TAS app, TAS will come in and out of it. You need some sort of guidance to give people and you need to set their expectations as well. And this is one of those key things that we've just seen here where the expectation should be that if you send out tasks, then publishing those tasks takes no time at all. You can be reasonably confident that within, as we saw, seconds, they should actually be there inside the client itself. Uh, the person in the, the shop should hear something ping as you send it out. Uh, but that might not be the case. It could, for example, if the teams aren't already there, sorry, if the planner for those people, the task list isn't already there for the stores, first time you're using it, it could take up to an hour or two for that to create itself. And then that feedback of the assignments, that feedback of the completion status, that's not a five minute thing as we've seen in this video. That's going to take a little bit longer. And we could watch this video for half an hour and they still might not come through. But you're setting a task that needs to be done perhaps tomorrow or later in the week. So the expectation is that the area manager or the person in marketing will set these perhaps for the week, get them all ready, and then throughout the week do their reporting. So make sure that as part of your guidance, as you show them how to do it, create videos on the right processes to do it, that you give them that information. So their expe expectations are correct and they don't think that this is going to be broken if it isn't working instantly. Catch us for more videos about Teams functionality and much, much more on Practical 365 next time.